Hi, this is Threshold in China. I'm Lisa and today we are at the China 2024 Humanoid Robotic Conference. Just like computers, smartphones and electric cars, we are again witnessing another technological revolution. The first full-sized humanoid robot, Wabot-1, was created by Waseda University in Japan in 1972. With years of development within the industry, China has emerged as a prominent player in the field, taking the lead in bringing this technology out of the lab and into commercial reality. Domestic companies and academic powerhouses have driven a patent explosion. As of 2023, China has received over 6,600 patent applications and has been granted more than 3,100 patents in the field of humanoid robots. The competition is fierce between China and the United States. In China, the rapid growth of the industry is not only fueled by private companies, but also with strong government support. Last October, the Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technology released a roadmap for humanoid robotic development. It aims to establish itself as a global leader by 2025. With all that said, let's take a look inside. In China's dynamic robotic landscape, young companies are making waves with their innovative creations. One such company is Unitree, established in 2016, which has gained global recognition for pushing the boundaries of electric-powered humanoid robots. Unitree's flagship creation is the H1 robot, a full-sized humanoid standing 180 centimeters tall and weighing only 47 kg. In the world's first feat, Unitree's H1 demonstrated the ability of a full-sized electric humanoid to perform a perfectly executed backflip and land on its feet, showcasing exceptional posture control according to experts. While backflips by robots have been demonstrated before, such as Boston's Dynamic Atlas in 2017, Unitree's H1 stand out because it is only powered by electric motors. Electric motors have better force feedback and more precise control compared to the hydraulic systems used in Atlas. Although hydraulic drives offer more powerful output, they tend to cost more and are heavier, and also require precise construction, which makes them less suitable for commercial applications. First, we believe the humanoid robot industry may evolve similar to the automotive industry, with each manufacturer focusing on their specific strengths. Going into too much detail on aspects like vision or limb movements gets very complex. So Unitree is focused on the core body and mobility, being able to effectively climb stairs, run, do backflips and so on based on physical capabilities. That's what we've always wanted to prioritize. In terms of mobility, wheeled robots have an advantage over tracked robots, which have an advantage over quadrupeds since terrain isn't as much of a limitation. And humanoids are the next step beyond quadrupeds. A key benefit of humanoids, also called general purpose robots, is their versatility. Unlike a sweep robot which can only vacuum, you can hand a humanoid a broom to sweep or a wrench to turn screws. They can operate in human environments without the need for major modifications. Unitree is using Navida's powerful stimulation platforms to continuously enhance the capabilities of H1 robots through self-learning AI models. As China doubled down on AI and robotics, startups like Unitree play a crucial role in driving innovation in this critical field. AGI Bot, based in Shanghai and led by engineer Peng Zhihui, has secured over $600 million in funding to develop intelligent humanoid robots for manufacturing and service roles. Leqi Robot collaborates with Huawei to explore commercial applications by integrating the open-source Harmony system. 
Kepler humanoid robots debuted at the 2024 CES show attracted wide attention. China's ecosystem covers the full spectrum, from pioneering research labs to component manufacturers to system integrators. Although the market is still in its early stages, it is growing rapidly. The China Electronic Society has also forecast that the market size of humanoid robots in China is expected to reach about 870 billion yuan. That is roughly about 119 billion US dollar by 2030. So, where exactly can we see these human-like robots being used today? Currently, humanoid robots are being deployed in industrial settings such as factories and power plants. However, experts anticipate that over time they will find wider applications in homes and service industries. We'll also work towards industrial use cases. The ultimate goal is for humanoids to take over dangerous jobs from humans first, as well as monotonous, repetitive work. Overall, humanoid robots exist to create a better life for humans. As powerful AI and multi-model large model emerge, humanoid robots are becoming game changers. They integrate cutting-edge AI, high-end manufacturing, and advanced materials, and are not just robots with arms and legs. They are complex machines that combine other machines, electrical engineering, sensors, and control systems. This allows them to not only take over complex tasks and factories, but also potentially revolutionize education, entertainment, and other service industries. As we've seen today, humanoid robotics are entering a new era. Experts predict that by 2030, these robots will enter a level of maturity that will allow them to integrate seamlessly into our lives, from factories to our homes. So, what do you expect from these robots? Will they become our best friends, personal assistants, or maybe even something more? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, these robots are looking more and more like human. And that is all for today's Threshold.